The car was discovered sunk at the bottom of the Cillian Pass with a body inside. Due to the length of time the body was submerged, the degradation did not allow for a complete identification. However, inside the car, police found the wallet of a Mr. Oscar Betts, who had been missing for five months. His watch and wedding ring were also retrieved from the scene. Disappeared, I foolishly continued. I I was so sure that he would be back by then. Here we are. take care of Tommy today. You just rest. Please come in. Can I help you? Yes. Well, um, I hope so. Uh, please have a seat, Miss. Uh, Mrs. Betts. Penelope. Uh, yes. Uh, what can I do for you? Well, you see, I have reason to believe that my husband is alive. Are there people saying otherwise? Well, a body was found a few weeks ago. They all think it's Oscar. He was found at the bottom of a pass. Hard to identify. The police are sure it's him. He said he was driving drunk and drove off the Sillian Bridge. So why exactly do you think he's still alive? Well, you see, the wedding ring, the one they found on that body, it, it keeps appearing. Appear? Yes, in odd places. I put it in the jewelry box, the next day I find it on the sink. In the kitchen, in the bedroom, on my hand. Well, I, I, I'd imagine you were quite traumatized. No! You're... It's not just it. I, I'm not sure if they're going to get Mr. Peterson, I came here because I was told you can find people. I'm telling you, my Oscar is not dead. The whole world is telling me to move on for my sake and for Tommy's. My own mother is bringing suitors around. But I can't just move on. I can't until all of this is explained. Far be it for me to turn down a paying job. Uh, I'll take your case, Mrs. Betts. But I can't promise you anything. We'll start by uh, asking a few more questions. I understand.
Peterson. Call me Bo, ma'am. Have you found anything yet, Bo? No evidence of foul play as of yet. I've checked everyone on the list you've given me. Is there anyone else I should be looking for? No, I, I don't think so. Any of your friends? Anyone he might have known? Well, there's Eve Carlisle, of course. We've been friends since I was a child. And our neighbor, Mrs. Crawley. She and Oscar have gotten into several fights. All right. I'll look into it. Why do you put a flower on his grave if you don't believe your husband's dead? Well, it's... It's someone's grave, I suppose. They still deserve someone seeing them. Pleasure. Mr. Peterson, I have been trying to get in touch with you for a week. Your secretary keeps telling me you're out. What is going on? It has been over a month. You must have something. I know you well enough by now to know that something is going on. What are you hiding from me? You hired me to prove that your husband is alive. I'm afraid I have no proof of that. What about the ring? It keeps moving. It keeps turning up in different places. He's trying to tell me something. Maybe he's in danger and can't talk to me. Maybe he's just... Your husband is dead, Penny. No, how is I that... have several witnesses that saw him leave and get into his car that night, clearly intoxicated, including the island tavern. What witnesses? Local drunks, mainly people who are too afraid to talk to the police, who wouldn't have wanted the attention. Well, if they are drunks, how can they remember something that happened over seven months ago? It wasn't seven months ago. Yes, it was. He, he disappeared in December, and it's Just July. His, he went missing five months before that body you turned up. Yes, but he was only dead for two of them. Your husband did not die seven months ago. He died four months ago. The witnesses saw him in March getting a drink at the tavern. I think he wasn't alone. I'm sorry, I know this is a lot to take. He he had been seeing another woman for quite some time. He had been going to the tavern several times a week. All the regular all the regulars recognized his picture. Who was the woman? I'm not sure, but I'm working. What? He faked his own death? I'm sorry. Your husband was in no kind of trouble. If he wanted to talk to you, he would. I don't know how the ring keeps moving, but I'm going to find out. We're going to get Mr. Best the piece of his Let me drive you home. This is Eve. Have you two met? I don't believe so. Eve Carlisle. Bo Peterson. A pleasure. Well, so Mr. Peterson, uh, thank you for walking me home. Just can't stop. Do you mind if I can't stay for a drink? Oh, no, not at all. You guys been friends? Oh, since forever. We're inseparable. Cigarette, anyone? I'm fine.
it seems that my uh, my lighter isn't working. Not if I use a Mac. Of course. I think I'll get a drink myself. Excuse me. For a private detective, you sure are slow. Eve, what's going on? It's been a long time coming, Penny. How could you? What? Steal what was yours? You always had it easy, Penny. When you married Oscar, did you know he'd been seeing me before that? But he wanted a wife with a pedigree. Or at least his family did, but he wasn't content with you. He came back to me. He left you left you and your child. For me, he wanted me. So we lived together right under your nose for months. Don't do anything stupid, Mr. Peterson. Wouldn't dream of it. But the ring, the body, I don't understand. The bastard started feeling guilty started talking about coming back to you and Tommy. I wouldn't let him. I wouldn't let you win again. Perfect Penelope. I couldn't let you just move on and forget. You had men practically lining up at the door for you. I couldn't allow that happiness for you. So I came here. Often. Moving the ring. It was almost comical to watch you try and figure it all out. Tommy, where's Tommy? Tommy will be fine. I'll tell him a good story. I'll be a good mother to him. Now, come on. What? You can't face me while you kill me? It's always the same story.